Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products, we're building drones with a do-it-yourself kit, making batteries out of wood, rewriting the rule book on solar cars, and creating e-skin that can sense touch and temperature. Scientists at the University of Maryland have created a tiny, long-lasting, efficient, and environmentally friendly battery out of wood fibers coated with tin. Using sodium instead of lithium makes the battery environmentally benign. However, sodium doesn't store energy as efficiently as lithium, so its low cost and common materials would make it ideal to store huge amounts of energy at once, like solar energy at a power plant. Inspired by trees, the team found that wood fibers are supple enough to let their sodium ion battery last more than 400 charging cycles, putting it among the longest lasting nano batteries. The team also noticed that after charging and discharging the battery hundreds of times, the wood ended up wrinkled but intact. Computer models showed that the wrinkles effectively relax the stress in the battery during charging and recharging so that the battery can survive many cycles. Jasper Van Lonen has developed a do-it-yourself kit that allows users to turn just about anything they want into a quadcopter. And why wouldn't you? <laughs> By simply attaching four motors and a control unit, the kit can make anything light enough into a drone, and without any technical know-how, Lonen claims. All of the plastic parts have been 3D printed in ABS material, and the kit includes the build materials and the original designs as well. So you can make it your own. Both the original and STL files are also available on Lonin's website. So essentially, this thing is open source. The control unit contains a receiver, four ESCs, a Bluetooth module, and an OpenPilot CC3D flight controller. Lonin has admitted, since this thing requires a remote control, it's technically not a drone, but that would ruin the DIY namesake. You know, drone it yourself. Amputees might be able to sense changes within their environments with a new flexible sensor that could be integrated into electronic skin or e-skin created by scientists from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. Using tiny gold particles and a kind of resin, the sensor has the ability to simultaneously detect touch, humidity, and temperature, as real skin can do. According to the research team, the new system is at least 10 times more sensitive in touch than the currently existing touch-based e-skin systems. This particular flexible sensor runs on low voltage, is compatible with the batteries found in today's portable devices, measures a wide range of pressures simultaneously, and can be made quickly, easily, and cheaply. The secret is the use of monolayer capped nanoparticles that are only 5 to 8 nanometers in diameter. They are made of gold and surrounded by connector molecules called ligands. When these nanoparticles are laid on top of a substrate, the resulting compound conducted electricity, allowing the sensor to detect a large range of pressures. By varying how thick the substrate is, as well as what it is made of, scientists can modify how sensitive the sensor is, leading to other monitoring tasks, such as monitoring strain on bridges, and detecting cracks in engines. A group of students from the University of Cambridge have developed a new solar car design that they say will rewrite the rule book at the World Solar Challenge this year. Their car, dubbed Resolution, strays from the usual tabletop design that solar cars tote. With a teardrop shape, their vehicle hopes to overcome the usual aerodynamic issue that often causes solar cars to struggle. Usually the solar panels are incorporated into the aerodynamics of the design, but Resolution solar panels are inside the vehicle's shell. Behind the cockpit, solar panels are embedded with an aft-facing tracking plate, which tracks the path of the sun and adjusts the solar panels to follow. This concept of power generation being encased in the design gives no need for compromise in aerodynamics for power generation. With the motor located in the hub of the wheel, the need for gears has been eliminated, as well as the need for chains or differentials, which would lower its efficiency overall as well. The cockpit itself can only house a driver that is less than 5 foot 3 inches tall, but the team said that the concessions were deliberate to keep the vehicle as fast and efficient as possible. They succeeded as this little sun buggy can reach speeds of nearly 87 miles per hour while running on as much power as a hairdryer. Not really a device I'm familiar with.
Resolution has also been fitted with an onboard telemetry, or what the team has dubbed Intelligent Cruise Control. This system takes traffic, weather, and driving style into account and advises the team on the best way to optimize efficiency. This vehicle was a collaboration of 60 students across several disciplines. The team hopes to be the first British car to win the World Solar Challenge taking place in October in the Australian desert. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire.